Now, before we get into today's video, I have to let you know with the latest patch 1.10, for those of you that don't know, the explosive behind the back is gone. Rest in peace to the ISO gods out there. But with that though, now it's that time to talk about today's video. And the goal of today's video is for my people who are gonna be specifically guards. Now this is gonna be from the heights of 5'7 to 6'7. The goal of this video is to teach you guys how to get more badge points in NBA 2K20. And this is something I wish I knew early on. Now from the jump, I want to explain to you guys what we're talking about in today's video. The goal is to give you more batch points overall for the build that you're wanting to create. And I know I'm a little late on this, but I want to get it before people start making more builds when they give us discount on VC. Now when it comes to this, keep in mind the height that you want to achieve. Now with point guards, you can get up to 6'6". Six, six. Keep that in mind. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we put an asterisk by this. Point guards can get up to 6'6". Six, six. Shooting guards, on the other hand, can get up to 6'7", and that's going to be a real look when it comes to talking about this build. Now, everything else you see in this video is just going to be based off of what I've experienced with this, and I've done a lot of research with this, so I want to make sure you guys understand this to the best of your ability. So right now, what we're about to create is a two-way slasher, 99 overall, right? It's going to be this pie chart. It doesn't matter what or how I build this build right now, because the point of it is the badges, right? So for those of you that are familiar with my channel, I have a two-way slasher with these exact attributes that you see on the screen. Now, I went with a different physical pie chart but besides the point what you want to focus on right now are the badge upgrades you see 19 defensive 11 playmaking 10 shooting and 10 finishing now this is a shooting guard version i want to keep that in mind for you guys that are thinking about making a build similar to what i did early on in the year now i'm happy with my build but that's beside the point what we're about to do right now is get us more badge points for the same exact attribute caps that we have in place right now now what we're going to do is go to the point guard position and you see he automatically took a hit in height advantage. And you see this off the rip. If I lower this down just a bit, just to get my block rating up, you're going to see a massive difference here. Now, I know for a lot of people, this may not be something that they want to do, but let's adjust this here. Now, after we adjusted our block rating here, we went down one attribute point on the block rating and then added to the defensive rebound. You see here now we have 21, 11, 10 and 11. We have one more finishing badge and literally two more defensive badge points. Now with this, I want you to keep in mind the height that you're wanting to achieve. And it's not necessarily the play style or the position. You wanna focus on the height that you're trying to get. At 6'6", I keep these same badge points and can still be a shooting guard for whatever team that I go to. And I have more badge points off the rip. So if I wanna just make this build, I could still achieve the same build with the point guard position at this height and it's honestly better than what it would have been at shooting guard and that's the unfortunate part right because we weren't explained that we weren't told how this pie chart system will really work but it's more beneficial to just be a point guard if you're gonna be 6566. Six, six. Now, the only drawback to this, right, is that if you wanna be 6'7, and that's why I said at the beginning of the video, I want you guys to focus on height. If you wanna be 6'7, by all means, make a shooting guard and then boost the height up to 6'7. That way you have more badges than a small forward. Now, the next shooting guard build that I wanna talk about with you guys is my two way three level facilitator. Now, I've done many videos on this, but with this though now at the shooting guard position when it came to my two-way three level facilitator the unfortunate part about this build is that it got only 17 defensive and rebounding badge points now i know for a lot of people that's still okay but for me i thought it was a real alarm to make this build at point guard and to see the difference now keep this badge upgrade in mind i want you to keep that list of numbers specifically that 17 defensive badge points when it comes to the defensive and rebounding category. We are now creating this build at the point guard position and I want you guys to see something drastic with this, right? And this is why I say to you guys, if you know the height that you already have in mind that you wanna use for maybe a shooting guard, small forward, point guard, you might as well make it at point guard or shooting guard before you even touch small forward because small forwards don't get that much love. So with this build, right, we're gonna go with the red and green pie chart just to start it off. We're gonna go with the speed pie chart at the beginning. Now we're gonna level up everything that we typically would do normally 
and right off the bat i already have eight finishing badge points and i barely spent a lot of my badge point upgrades or my attribute upgrades now what i wanted to achieve last time was 15 shooting badge points now i can just keep it at where it is with the 88 free throw and leave it alone i don't even have to add anything to post fade now when it comes to the playmaking we upgraded the ball handling and also the pass accuracy and we honestly saved one attribute upgrade by moving one of them down because we still were able to keep one attribute for defensive areas so now it's the time we look at defense so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade all of this go right to this category and what we're gonna do here is start adjusting just a little bit right get it to an area that i'm okay with and i think what i did last time was i dropped my free throw because i only felt like i needed 14 shooting badges versus 15 and with this I now have this set up here, which is extremely unfortunate, right? We have eight finishing, 14 shooting, 10 playmaking, and 21 defensive and rebounding badge points. And that's an astronomical difference. Honestly, compared to the two-way slasher versus this build, this is a better shooter, a better defender overall for what I want to do on the floor. Even if I move one of these around, right? I guess I really can't it's still a better build overall for the badge points that you get now if i just raise the height on that you now see at 6.5 i'm gonna have a 90 overall defensive rebounding at 99 overall i'm gonna have a 76 block rating and still have virtually the same stats and then i'm just gonna lower the weight to 176 that way i have that 79 vertical that 99 acceleration and at 96 speed this is still a good look overall man and once i lower the wingspan by one that now gives me 80 ball handling at 99 along with an 85 3 and mid-range shot then of course with the takeovers just pick whatever you want from there and boom i made the two-way three level facilitator with a better version of a point guard and the reason i bring this up to you guys right is because i want you guys to maximize the potential of your two-way builds and just your builds in general guys i know this video probably went a, a little long-winded but i wanted to clearly explain to you guys if you want to be 6'6 right make a point guard you automatically get to call plays in the nba and then you get all of the perks of just being a point guard in general with always getting the ball right at the beginning of your career now if you want to make a small forward and you say you want to be six seven make a shooting guard and then from there you can make the moves with more badge points so the goal of this video guys was really just to explain to you that it would be better for you as far as my guards and the two-way fam to make a point guard build keep in mind not the position you want to play but the height that you want to be of your player this is just how the system is put in place unfortunately and with this i wanted to bring this knowledge to you guys because i spent the last week and a half doing a lot of testing and tinkering and making some new builds just to see how they would perform at a certain position and unfortunately guys I have builds that are better already, but I'm probably not going to finish grinding them just because of the fact that, man, that's a lot of time and I don't see the great benefit in it. I'm just going to go ahead and keep the builds that I have maxed out already. But with it, for you guys that are thinking about making a new build, you're thinking about making another guard just to maximize your badges, yo, focus on the height, focus on being a point guard first. And then also get that defensive rebounding stat up and then always tinker with the height. That way you will see what upgrades on your attribute upgrade list and then what doesn't, especially when you go from 6'3 to 6'6, 6'3 to 6'5, whatever the case may be, and you can make a better educated decision. Now for my small forwards out there, you wanna be 6'7 max? Make a shooting guard and just make him 6'7", even if it's a lock or anything, because I've made a two-way slasher at small forward and it only got 16 defensive badge points versus I got my 19 on a 6'5 two-way slasher and I just made him 6'7". That's a significant difference for us players out there that are trying to compete by any means necessary. But besides that, guys, if you made it to this point in the video, make sure to like, also subscribe for more NBA 2K20 content. I'm going to be trying to come with a little more juice for you guys because, hey, I'm thankful for my audience and we recently hit 65K. So I want to say thank you to you guys. But with this, man, I truly hope this helps you out before you make your next build. 
remember think about the height think about the attribute caps and then also tinker with the height as you're creating the build and keep it at the point guard position but besides that my people i'll see you in the next one peace Perfect. Perfect.